everyone, this is Lydia. Creating a card from scratch in Design Space is really easy once you are familiar with the basic functions of Design Space. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a very simple birthday card that you can embellish and personalize. After starting a new project, insert a square from the Shapes panel. This will be the card base. To change the size of the image, first unlock the padlock. This will allow the height and width to be set independently. In the edit bar, enter the dimensions. The finish the size of this card will be 5 by 7 with a horizontal fold, so the width will be 7 inches and the height will be 10 inches. The color of the image can be changed by clicking the box next to the line type drop down. Now let's add a score line. Go back to the shapes menu and click on score line. An easy way to, to rotate the score line is to go up here to rotate and put in 90 degrees. Next we will drag on the drag the arrow button and stretch it to fit. Now with both layers selected, we'll hit Align and Center. This will center it vertically and horizontally. So now with both layers still selected, click Attach. This will fasten the score line to the card base. Now that the card base is done, now is a good time to save. So click Save and name your project. Now let's add some images. Go to images, and I'm going to go to image sets. There are over 3,000 image sets, so I want to narrow those down to just the free ones. So I'll click on ownership and free. I know that the image I want is on the Cricut Craft Room image set, Cricut Craft Room Basics. And so we'll scroll down to this uh, scalloped note card. With that selected, click Insert Images. Now, when I bring this into uh, the canvas, there is a hidden uh, a shadow layer. So I will unhide that shadow layer. Now, I just can just pull it down here. And I, I need to unlock my padlock so I can uh, size the height and the width independently and I will stretch it to fit. Now I'll hide the padlock. And I'd like to turn this layer, this top layer, white. So I will select this layer in the Layers panel and make it white. Now I'd like to add a sentiment. So I'll go back to Images. I'm going to go back to the, this screen and just put in Happy Birthday. So it'll give me over 5,000 results for Happy Birthday. So again, I'm just going to choose the, a free one so I can narrow it down a bit and click this one to insert images. And like the this rectangle image, this also has a shadow layer. So I'll unhide that and size it to where I want it. Now is a good time to save because I've made some major changes. So now I'm ready to cut, but I want to see how many mats that I, I'm going to have. So I'll click over here on the color sync panel. So each color goes to a different mat. So I've got two different shades of purple here, and I'd like to keep this simple. So I'll, I'll just drag this the happy birthday up to the base layer. And so those are now the same color and they will cut on the same mat. So I'll only have three mats for this project. I'm going to save again before I click make it. So now Design Space has put each color on a different mat. 
And in order to save some, to make my wear, mats wear evenly and possibly use up some uh, scraps, I'm going to move my images around on the mat. I'll move this down to the bottom. I'm going to go back and select mat number one so that when I hit continue, it'll be ready to cut mat number one. So on this, I'm going to use deluxe paper. So I don't have that as one of my favorites, so I'll just have to go search for it. And it's going to prompt me to uh, load the fine point blade and load the mat. And then with the, I'll, I'll do this the same with the other mats. On this one, I'm going to cut it out of glitter. So I'm going to put glitter cardstock. And uh, this one, you'll note that it's going to prompt me for the scoring wheel. In, in this case, since I'm using a maker, uh, it would prompt me for the scoring stylus for an explorer. Um, and for this, this one, I'm going to use cardstock for intricate cuts, uh, mainly because of this sentiment here. Uh, and that's, that's also my, just my favorite setting. It does cut twice, and so you, it'll get, you'll get a good cut. This card is very easy to assemble. Just start with the base layer and work your way up. Uh, I used a tape gun for gluing the rectangular layers uh, onto each other and onto the card. And then for the sentiment, I used art glitter glue with a, in a fine tip bottle. Just a very little bit goes a long way to put the regular cardstock onto the glitter cardstock shadow layer. And then for the um, to put the the whole thing with the glitter cardstock and the regular cardstock I used uh, Zot's uh, clear glue dots to make sure it would stick down really well and this will fit in a 5x7 envelope that you can get from Amazon or uh, office supply store I hope this video has been helpful if it has please give me a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel thanks for watching